welcome to Yaya's Garage, back again with another video. In today's episode, we're gonna be tinting the taillights. I feel like uh, every single one of my intros is exactly the same, but what can we do? It's Yaya's Garage, right? But yeah, today we're gonna be tinting these disgusting strawberry red taillights. I hate the way these look because now that we have all these black accents all across the car, it just does not look good. So I went ahead and got this taillight tint from Amazon for about $20 from Vivid. And uh, we're gonna be tinting these ourselves. Uh, as you can tell from uh, a lot of my previous videos, a lot of these uh, mo modifications that I've been doing, all these cosmetic mods have been extremely cheap, stuff that you can do from home. And trying to do what we're about to do today from a shop, getting your taillights tinted costs $120. Like I called a bunch of shops from ranges between 80 to 120. And uh, you can literally just get this from Amazon for $20 and uh, just do it yourself. Of course, it's not gonna come out perfect. That's why, you know, it's part of the learning process. I'm not, I'm a beginner. So, um, you know, I can show you guys what it looks like. It's not gonna come out perfect, but it's still definitely gonna come out pretty good. Uh, and you know instead of spending $130 at a shop you can try doing it yourself it comes out good and uh, worst case scenario if it doesn't come out good you can always rip it off and then uh, get it done professionally but um, let's uh, so yeah let's uh, get straight into it so I'm gonna try wrapping the tail lights without taking the entire tail light off and see how, how it comes out and uh, if it doesn't come out too well then uh, I'll just take it off and then take the tail light off and do it that way. I have enough wrap. I just feel like uh, with the tail lights being super flat and um, the tint is going to tuck in over here anyways and the trunk is going to hide the rest of it. I think it should work. Only over here is where it's going to be a little difficult to tuck in. But I think we should be able to get this done without taking the tail light off. But if need be, then we'll take the tail light off and then put it back uh and just redo it and it shouldn't be a big deal so let's uh start off by prepping the tail light um cleaning it off and then uh starting wrapping so we have our uh solution right here water and a little bit of isopropyl alcohol and just gonna spray it and wipe it down let it dry and then start wrapping it luckily the tail lights were already pretty clean to begin with but yeah there we go All right, just gonna let it dry for a few minutes and then we can start wrapping. So I ended up getting some help. When I say help, it's just me watching him do this whole thing. But I'll commentate as he goes so you guys can learn. I hope you guys are getting a good understanding of what he's doing from the time lapse. You want to explain exactly what you're doing? Okay. So, see if you can get an angle from this side. Most of this is straight, meaning it's flat. So it's easy to lay on yeah. top. Let's say if you're looking at like a whiteboard like that, see? It's flat. So the vinyl is okay laying flat here without heat. When you start moving in a different projection, if you're looking at it like in a 3D way, this is moving in two different axes at the same time. One axis is moving up, one axis is moving back, and this is like a, a bit more aggressive than 
what you could do without heating it. So you want to heat it just a little bit so that this stretches very little enough so it doesn't need to wrinkle up like this. So what you're doing is you're just heating it up a little bit so that it can lay flat. You have to make the vinyl think that it's laying flat. Yeah. So it stretches a little bit. See guys, this is why I'm making him do it so I don't mess it up. No, it's because I freaking smoke too much and I talk like I'm heavy. <laughs> All right, so we got the wrap on and now he's starting to cut. Look at the precision. So guys, this is what it looks like. It came out pretty fire. And this is the tinted tail light. This is what the normal one looks. What do you think? Yeah, close the trunk. I like this tinted. Yeah, it's way better. It's kind of dark though. It is inside though, so with the light, we'll see what it looks like with the light, but still it definitely looks way better than the red nice all right and then we're just going to quickly do this one and then we should be good to go Alright guys, so this is the final product. Came out pretty fire. It looks much better than the lipstick red taillights that I had before. It you know brings everything together with all the black accents. Um, and stay tuned for uh, more mods. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Just want to get a quick shot at night. This is what it looks like at night. It looks super mean. Look at that GTR lights. Super nice. Alright guys, anyways, I just want to throw this in there. But yeah, catch you guys in the next video.